That smile and today's forecast, Michelle, probably going to put a smile on a lot of people's faces. Yeah, you know, it's going to be a pretty good spring day today, Patrick. We're still going to be running cooler than normal as we take a look at the conditions in Newport right now. A lot of sunshine. So we're going to get the kids out on the swing set or perhaps uh, looks like our hurricane barrier camera might have gone down. Uh, if outside for a walk or a bike ride, it's looking good for that. Very chilly start this morning. We dropped to 37 degrees in Providence. That was just one degree shy of the record. The temperatures are now back into the 40s, but I do expect overnight lows tonight in many spots to be back into the upper 30s. So it's a cool but bright day ahead for us. The winds will be a little breezy in the afternoon, warming up on the way starting tomorrow afternoon well into the 60s and it does look like we'll be able to squeeze in a mainly dry weekend. We do have some showers in the forecast for later Friday and then again by Sunday evening and Sunday night. Looking at our winds right now, they're breezy this morning, 10 15 mile an hour winds out of the northwest. So if you're planning on going out on the patio, you may have to put some papers underneath the coffee cup so they don't uh, get blown away. This temperature is at 10 o'clock at about 50 degrees, one in the afternoon, 56 and at four o'clock we're in the upper 50s. Here's an hour by our our look at that forecast. I do expect plenty of sunshine and with a land breeze today, both inland spots and the coastline will be pretty similar. So those noontime temperatures, as I mentioned, lower to mid 50s. Here's those temps at five o'clock this evening, still upper 50s in westerly Providence, New Bedford and Smithfield. And then here's uh, what we're looking at for the evening and nighttime hours. So by 10 o'clock at night, mid to upper 40s tomorrow morning, back down to the upper 30s in Providence. The record to beat tomorrow 35 degrees, so another day of near record lows. You may want to take some steps tomorrow or actually tonight to protect your plants again and pull them into the garage, cover them up if you can, if you're trying to uh, to do uh, to protect them. Looking at our hour by hour forecast for tomorrow afternoon, that's a little more like it. Those temperatures should be well into the 60s. We do have some showers, as I mentioned, for later Thursday and into Friday. Here's that forecast as we look ahead. High pressure today going to still keep us dry into tomorrow. So at 8 o'clock, that high's sitting to the south of us as it slides to the east. Frontal system approaches. First up is the warm front. That'll bring some increasing clouds by tomorrow evening with showers moving in tomorrow night. Once that warm front lifts through, we get into a little bit of a lull. So Friday is not going to be a wash out, but we will by the end of the day have to watch this cold front. That front is likely to bring not only some showers, but possibly a few thunderstorms as it rolls through. Timing is late day and evening. Once the front clears out, the temperatures will cool a little bit for Saturday. Uh, the uh, forecast for Saturday now in the upper 60s for highs, but it is a sunny day. I think it's going to be a beautiful start to the weekend for us. Notice those temperatures not nearly as chilly in the nighttime hours either. So we'll be up close to 70 degrees on a Saturday afternoon, especially away from eastern Massachusetts on Sunday. Cooler everywhere. I do have a stride during the daytime on Sunday, but shower Sunday evening and Sunday night, and those will stretch into Monday. With the